Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing how to stop hair fall and your hair falling out and the best remedies to regrow your hair. So this question came up in terms of the best supplements for hair loss from my live interaction online, and I thought I would, you know, break it down for you. So I'm going to show you now when we're talking about healthy hair growth, why it's so important to treat these things from the inside out. So of course, to improve hair loss, we have to think about the hair and the blood supply. So the food for the hair comes from the inside. So it comes from the bloodstream and that is what will help to feed the hair for strong hair growth. And unfortunately, often the diet is very low in the nutrients that we need for that strong keratin. And this is why by supplementing with things that will support your keratin levels, it can really help the stopping of of your hair falling, but also to help with the regrowth of that healthy hair. So one of the things we have to make sure that we have enough of is protein in the diet. And specifically, one of the amino acids, L-lysine, is known to really help with that hair growth, as well as nutrients like MSM. So MSM has the sulfur, and the sulfur-containing bonds help to ensure that we have that strong keratin. As well as I love the herb silica. So silica from the horsetail herb is the natural way to get the silica into our body and really does help with that strength of the hair being that nutrient. So this is a micro mineral. It's a micronutrient that helps with the strength of the hair follicle, but with that keratin as well. I also love the fact that getting enough vitamin D3 is really important. So often, you know, going into the cooler months, especially here, where we live in North America and we don't get that natural sunlight anymore from the sun to be able to make our vitamin D3, this can be a reason why a lot of people will lose their hair and their hair starts falling out when the sun is less and less in our environment. So in the fall, often they say your hair falls in the fall, well, that I'm convinced is related to that vitamin D deficiency, as well as a DHA deficiency. So DHA, Dakota, the hexanoic acid is an important omega-3 fatty acid that we as humans tend to be much more deficient in. So it's really important that we're getting enough of it. And this is another reason why some people lose their hair. This is really common in pregnancy. So women, after they've delivered their baby, they lose a lot of hair. And that is from that relative loss now of that DHA, especially if you know, you're not supplementing with those omega-3s, that DHA, then you can really suffer that hair loss after having the baby and it's so important not only for your baby's health and if you are breastfeeding them this is important with the DHA to feed the baby with those omegas that the baby needs for his or her brain and spinal cord development but also for circadian rhythms and if you want your baby to sleep at night you have to ensure that that baby is getting enough DHA so super super important usually it's recommended and the studies show that in the last trimester of pregnancy that's the most critical time to ensure that you know the pregnant mom is taking in enough DHA and you continue to do that right through the breastfeeding and well into you know even supplementing your children as well to make sure that they get enough of that DHA. And another thing to watch for with hair loss is iron deficiency. So ensuring that you have enough iron. Iron deficiency can also be a cause for hair loss and certainly getting your blood work done with your doctor to see where your your blood levels are of your iron and your ferritin uh, is very important, but certainly if that hair loss is happening and you know that you are low in iron, make sure that you're increasing your iron in your diet and maybe you need to supplement as well. I have an entire show all about iron deficiency, so you can check that out here on YouTube. And you know, make sure that you're always covering your bases, especially with some of those macronutrients and your minerals that are really important for your overall health. So I hope you learned something new. Be sure to share this video with your friends and family. Please leave in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you do for your hair and you know whether you've had success or not success. If you want me to you know tackle another topic here then please let me know in the questions and comments. I read everything so I know exactly what you're thinking when you write it down and then I can definitely help you and you know your ideas are always the best so that's fantastic.
fantastic. I appreciate a big thumbs up on this video. If you're new here as well, make sure that you're subscribed. You click that bell to get our notifications for when I'm live and also for when, you know, I am uploading new videos all the time. And here at the Dr. Janine Show, that's something that, you know, we love to interact with you and really, you know, appease what your curiosity is wondering about in terms of natural health. Be sure to always take care of your good health and to do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.